In this video, we're going to show you the location and how to replace the downstream O2 sensor, which is located right here above the converter. So the connector to that downstream O2 sensor is located right above the steering shaft. Um, so we took the tire off so you could see through the fender well and get a good view of this. It has a red plastic safety clip on it. It's a lock for the electrical connector, so I'm going to get a flat screwdriver. I'm going to pry that off. Just like that. Pop that out. So you're going to pull that red lock out all the way so that those four tabs, little tip plastics, slide it out through. So now I'm going to follow the harness all the way down. There's a little plastic clip here that goes on the brake line. We'll take it out of that. Bring it down. I'll re hook this back onto the. like that. Then there is a sheet metal bolt that the harness is attached to right between the sway bar link and the body, the floorboard. Eight millimeter socket, just worked at it and uh, got that threaded sheet metal screw out and that bracket. And now we can bring that O2 sensor harness up and over. And there it is. I'll take it off because you're going to remount it probably on the new one. I'm going to use an O2 sensor socket which has a cutout in it so that it can go over the harness and down on. That is a 22 millimeter size wrench. Put my 3H drive ratchet on it and I'm going to break it free. Take it off, and I can hand thread it out. O2 sensor, and you're going to take this plastic cap off that protects those threads. Sometimes you're going to see some never sees on it. I see it just on the flat washer. So I'm going to put a little dab right here on my threads for future problems. So what I did was put a couple of dabs around on the thread part. Make sure you don't get it on the end of the O2. And that's just going to stop the future of this possibly freezing and not being able to come free if I need to. Take it out. So we're going to line it up. Always start it by hand. This is where you don't want to fish that harness up through because you want to spin that so that it doesn't get twisted. Bottoms out, and then we'll get our O2 socket and tighten it up. I'm just gonna Bring that socket right over. Grab my ratchet. That has a crush washer, so you want it to bottom out. And you're going to feel it has a little bit of a turn to it. Just enough to snug it. It's almost like a spark plug. Just like that. I'm going to run this harness back up through. I'm going to make sure that I get it pretty taut here because I don't want it to ever hit this exhaust. So I'm going to put that bracket back on with that sheet metal screw and see and locate my bracket. Line that bolt up. It's a tight fit. Just want to try to start it by hand. And get my eight millimeter socket. And there we go, nice and tight. I'm gonna get a little pry bar or screwdriver. I'm gonna push that bracket back straight up. I bent it that way so I could get to it. Now we're gonna run the harness back up through over behind the power steering rack. Put this clip on, 
put it right through this. I'm going to add, line these connectors up, all four-way dots, right onto that the female harness end, just like that. Squeeze it up as far as it will go, and then push that plastic red tab over, just like that. Perfect. It locked right in. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.